All right. Uh, Pat McAfee, the biggest hit last night was delivered by the Colts punter. And uh, here to puff out his chest a little bit, he's uh, Pat McAfee, the Colts uh, fan of the show, back on the program. How are you feeling today, Pat? I feel pretty good, Dan. Uh, last night was obviously a huge win for us. But when you're built like a middle-aged man, you kind of get <laughs> sore from things like that. Uh, so I feel good, but I'm struggling a little bit. Did it hurt you when you hit holiday? Uh, to be honest, I black out when I go on the field. So the whole thing, I don't even remember happening until I saw the replay. So I can't say it hurt me then, but I'll tell you what, I feel like an old man this morning. I'll tell you that right now. (laughs) How is this going to go over in film study when they show that play? Well, I'm really happy we won. Uh, cause if we would have lost, we wouldn't have had such a good, we wouldn't be able to have a good time with it. But I think since we won, uh, the guy should respect it, but I think that's, that's what a kicker needs to do though, because a lot of people, a lot of kickers and punters don't do it. And if you want to earn the respect of your teammates, you got to lay the wood sometimes, uh, because they'll do it for you. So you got to do it for them. Wait, you just said lay the wood. <laughs> yeah. You're gosh darn right. Dan. You saw the same thing I saw. I don't know if punters lay wood, Pat. Well, I agree with that in most cases. Uh, but last night, I hit a scratch off and got completely lucky, and it happened. Will you hear from other punters around the league? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think Chris Cluey said something about me, which was awesome, uh, because he's like the most famous punter in the history of the world. (laughs) So that was cool. But uh, hopefully other kickers and punters will be happy about it. But it's it's just I think that's something the new age kicker and punter is going to have to start doing is (laughs) making plays for their teammates. And uh, hopefully it'll be a trendsetter, you know. He's Pat McAfee, the uh, Colts punter who laid the wood last night to trend in Holiday. Joining us. Did Holiday say anything to you? No, he didn't even talk to me. Like, uh, <laughs> I talked to him before the game because he is so good. Like, he is a game changer. So I talked to him before the game, and I said, hey, man, don't kill me. And then after the game, I went up and talked to him, and he just, like, he said, like, Take care. Didn't even bring it up. Act like it didn't even happen. So I just, I didn't say anything. I just walked away. But he is so incredibly talented. I got very lucky. Did you talk to Peyton? I did after the game. I gave him a little, uh, you know, what's up? How's it going? But the circus that was around him, I don't think he was in the mood to talk to anybody. So I got out of there. But it was great to see him back in Indiana. I think uh, he's done so much for this state. And he's usually such a robot. To see him get emotional during that tribute was uh, pretty cool. Did you see where Indomitian Sue tweeted that he wondered if you would be fined? Yeah, yeah, I did see that. And if I do get fined, um, I hope it's nothing like Indomitian Sue's fines because I don't have an Indomitian Sue bank account. So, uh, but I did see that. And I, people were asking if I targeted him and everything. I had my eyes closed running full speed. So there was no targeting there. But if the fine comes, I completely Wait, your, understand. Wait, your it. eyes are closed when you're tackling Holiday. Yeah, Dan. I'm just running with my eyes closed, <laughs> hoping a blind squirrel finds a nut. If you get fined, we'll help pay the fine. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. You know, the, the Dan Patrick show is sending the fund out. That'll be great. But, uh,. A lot of people are bringing it up on Twitter about how I should get fined and stuff. Uh, we'll see. We'll, I thought I had a good hit, though. I thought I led with the shoulder after seeing the film. So who knows? But I appreciate you offering up the ante. What was it like in the locker room after that win? Oh, it was awesome. I think the whole week building up to it. I've never been around. I played in the Super Bowl my uh, rookie year, and there was a circus leading up to that game. But last week, it was just the same thing. Uh, everybody was hyping it up. You saw that I'm coming home uh, video montage about 4,000 times. And I think our owner, Jim Irsay, did a great job of taking the distractions off the field. I mean, his tweets and the things he said, they might have sounded like crazy to people, but he took every distraction out of our locker room right to his office. So our team got a chance to focus. And, Do you uh, think it was calculated, Pat? I have no idea if it was calculated. I, I can't. I'm not him, so I don't know. But I know what the final result was, and it was he took a lot of heat out of that locker room. And uh, who knows if he did it on purpose? But I know how it turned out. And after we were just so happy 
and so uh, pumped for our coach, for our GM, and for our owner. And I think that goes a long way. Well, congrats on the win. And there's part of me hoping you get fined just because I think you're going to be a hero to uh, other kickers around the league. Not with just the hit, but the fact that you got fined for a helmet to helmet there. Well, I hope I don't get fined because I didn't do anything on purpose. I never meant to do it. But if I do, uh, we'll take care of it and keep moving forward. There's a long season left. Hopefully, I won't have to tackle anybody ever again. Pat, good to visit with you, buddy. Congrats on the win last night. Hey, take care, boss. How was E, by the way, from Entourage? That's uh, like one of my favorite I had him, in the world. I had him squirming. I was asking tough questions. And, um, you know, here was one question I asked him. Would you rather have the career of Leonardo DiCaprio, his good buddy, or Derek Cheater on and off the field? Oh, I'd be Leo, no doubt. Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. All right, but Jeets has got, you know, championships there. I agree, but Leonardo DiCaprio can act until he's 70. Are there the great cat? Are there punter groupies? <laughs> no way, no way. People always think I'm an agent or something. I'll go out with like, I'll go out. I'll go out with my friends who are all, uh, you know, on the team, yeah. and girls just think I'm the manager or agent. They're like, "Can you introduce? Can you introduce us to your clients?" And I'm like, "God." Oh, and I just walk away. Well, they'll know you now. You're the guy who laid some wood. Good to visit with you, hey, Pat. I like your... <laughs> All right, take care. Guys. All right, Later. laid the wood. You don't hear that very often from a punter. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.